There is some new footage for the Batman 2022 which has been released in a Japanese trailer for the film and while we only get a few new shots, the new look at Matt Reeves film gives some intriguing details surrounding the Riddler's origin, his plan and a potential teaser image for the Joker. This video may contain potential spoilers so I would recommend clicking off this upload if you want to go into the film blank. And if you want to see the trailer for yourself, then there is a link in the description to the latest footage. But before I get into my analysis and breakdown of it, if you want to see much more videos on the Batman leading up to its release date, including my road to the Batman series that I'm starting very soon, then don't forget to support this video by giving it a like rating, subscribing to the channel and turning on your notifications. Also feel free to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit and Instagram at Cortex Videos, which is all linked in the description below. But without further ado, let's discuss the new footage from the international trailer of The Batman. So last night, Warner Brothers Japan released a new trailer for The Batman and it includes brief new shots that haven't previously been seen. This new footage, while short, conveys a lot of information surrounding the main motivations of the Riddler and what he has uncovered. Paul Dano's character is of course still shrouded in mystery and we won't know the full answers until the release of the film as it should be, but the questions this new footage presents are ones that really get to the core of Bruce Wayne and especially the detective themed approach we are seeing in this new adaptation. What we learn from this new footage is that the Riddler's motivation seems to be connected to Bruce's family and this is shown to us through one of the takeaway shots of the Riddler's war filled with newspaper clippings and photographs. So let's break down what is in this frame and what it could mean for the very personal connection between Bruce and the Riddler. Well, on the newspaper clippings that we see stuck together, Bruce's eyes are scratched out in the photos of him alongside Thomas Wayne, but Martha Wayne's eyes aren't scratched out in either of her photographs. This of course poses a question, but if I had to be honest, I think it's mainly suggesting that the Riddler is against those who he has scratched out. This is because the newspaper clippings potentially hint that the Riddler was indeed an orphan whose orphanage was underfunded and Bruce's father may have played a big role in that. Also, we see what looks to be a question mark on a young Riddler who appears to be staring at a young Bruce with the overlaying writing saying, if only I knew then what I know now. So from this, it's clear that there's a strong personal vendetta against Bruce and the Riddler is unearthing it all. The second image brings us back to this orphanage situation too, reading, Gotham Orphanage Renewal Promise Fulfilled. If I had to guess, I think this renewal is what the Riddler was referring to in the previous trailer, with the renewal is a lie writing on the floor that Bruce Wayne walks over. Also in the same newspaper, you can just make out the words on a campaign sign which say, Wayne for Manor. So the sins of my father part of the messages on the floor could also link in to the idea that Thomas Wayne used the renewal of the orphanage to boost vote numbers so he could become the new mayor. But according to the Riddler, the renewal didn't do what he said it would and the corruption that the Riddler is exposing may be connected to that in a big way. And another thing we can gather in these clippings is that the Riddler is putting a big focus on Bruce and the way the public sees him. He's essentially suggesting that the playboy stigma is something that's created by the media rather than Bruce himself. This is interesting because we don't really see this narrative used in live action Batman films and it's mainly a part of the comics. It also reflects the real world with how the media can manipulate stories of well known figures to control the narrative. The Riddler is essentially exposing it all. He has a personal vendetta against the Waynes from his childhood, but he's also using this as an example to expose the current corruption in Gotham and maybe he's trying to make Bruce see that in a very twisted way. 
That would link into the Riddler's line from the trailer when he says, you're a part of this too. Breaking the spirit of the bat, if you will. After all, Matt Reeves did say that this film would shake Batman to his core, and maybe all of this surrounding his parents is at the centre of that. It may also be a clever introduction of his parents, rather than re-watching the scene of them getting killed. Maybe their part is the bigger conspiracy that's linked to the very villain that Bruce is trying to take down. But before moving on to the other brief shots, I must mention that one of the newspaper clippings has a very familiar smile in the background behind a picture of Bruce Wayne. Some say that this is a hint of the Joker, as we know there have been some recent leaks surrounding the Joker, potentially making a cameo in this film. For all we know, this could be just referring to the mystery woman he's with, but it's quite weird that the bottom of a face that resembles the Joker is quite evidently seen in one of these article images. It very much reminds me and is reminiscent of The Man Who Laughs, a disturbing classic that inspired the Joker's smile, and while again this could just be something else, it's hard to come up with another reason behind this particular image. My prediction is that with a potential existence of the Joker, this is almost being used by the headline as a looming threat, and with leaks also saying that this new Joker is very much situated in what's going on and will play a part later on down the line, it makes sense for the film to give a slight tease of what's to come. We'll have to see on this, and recently the news came out that Warner Brothers is testing two cuts of the film with only one difference, and that difference is the cameo of a particular character who who many are saying is the Joker, and actor Barry Keegan is rumoured to be playing the Clown Prince of Crime himself. I will keep you updated if we do get any more on this, but it's a key image to keep in mind if all of the leaks do turn out to be authentic. But let me know, do you think this is the Joker, something else, or just related to the headline of Bruce Wayne being with a mystery woman? Moving on to the final brief clips in the new international trailer, we get more of the fueling personal battle between the Riddler and Batman, with an extension of the funeral scene where the Riddler appears to be present looking down at Bruce Wayne in almost a silhouette fashion, reminiscent of the Bat Signal. It tells us that the Riddler isn't afraid of confronting the Caped Crusader. There's also a brief shot of an image that appears to show Pete Savage, the character being interviewed by the media in the first trailer, meeting with what looks to be one of Falcone's men, just indicating to us of the corruption that is ongoing and a part of the reason why the Riddler is so determined to exploit it. There's then further a brief clip of what looks to be either Riddler's apartment or a place where he was hiding, with a particular rat tube device in the corner of the frame. Now what's interesting about this is that one of the test screenings that took place recently for the film claims that there's a scene where the Riddler attaches a tube device to someone, puts rats down them, and they eat into the skin of the person, basically eating them alive from the inside. So with this lit Literally in the footage, it seems to almost confirm that the descriptions from the test screenings are in fact true. It's also just a tease of some of the twisted things that the Riddler is going to get up to in the new film. And the only other thing to mention is the stinger at the very end of this new footage, where for the first time we see Batman take off his mask and overlaying that, the Riddler speaks, saying Bruce Wayne in a very creepy way. This fully confirms that yes, the Riddler does know that he's Batman. But like the Batman Hush comic book, it's very likely that there's a reason he doesn't tell anyone that he is Bruce Wayne and that there's many secrets to yet be revealed. So like Hush, we appear to be getting some similar character beats and for this very detective approach, it seems very fitting. The trailer then ends with an extremely scary laugh from the Riddler and all of this new footage and audio pretty much signifies that the character is going to be one hell of a threat for Bruce Wayne to deal with. It's personal, spine chilling, and the overall tone this film is conveying gets me extremely excited for the main villain, who might be my most anticipated comic book villain in years. We'll have to see, but all the new clips, while small, give us important information about the motivation of the Riddler and some of the things involved in his master plan.
But they were the potential details for the Batman 2022 based on the new trailer that was released last night. We'll soon find out if all of this adds up and the Riddler is going to be personally connected to Bruce Wayne, but all the new footage does create a bigger sense of mystery because all of the questions it gives us. I must say the Riddler looks incredible in this film and it's expected from a performer like Paul Dano who really does a great job in multiple projects at crafting fascinating performances. It looks like he's really channeling a Batman hush and Zodiac vibe and the mystery unfolding in this new trailer will probably just be the beginning of what's in store for his character. Maybe it's connected to the Joker in the bigger scale of things and it makes me wonder what exactly that creepy smile is. And of course Robert Pattinson has looked fantastic throughout the promo and seeing him take off the mask for the very first time really conveys the damaged and chilling nature that this version of the character is going to portray. Hopefully we get more footage and marketing soon and this brief new look seems to be scratching the surface when it comes to the depth of Riddler's plot in the Batman. But I'm interested to hear what you guys thought towards the new footage, alongside what you think it all means in Matt Reeves' upcoming film. So let me know down below in the comment section. For more videos surrounding the Batman leading up to its release next year, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like rating and follow me on social media via the links in the description. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, I've been Cortex, and as always, make some noise.